We had a oh <laughs> you have to tell me jesus so we're i have to get off the camera because i have to watch where i'm going because they are not looking out for me Tanisha here welcome to a new vlog today is Saturday March 23rd and as you can tell from the title of this video we are getting ready to go camping Whew, I'm a little nervous but I wanted to go ahead and get the vlog started so you guys can see everything as far as us getting prepared for the trip and packing so we're going to the getaway house in Orlando and they say Orlando, but it's giving Gainesville, you know, it's giving Jenny Springs area. Like if you're a Florida person, you know, I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos and trying to get a lot of insight on other people who have already been to the getaway cabins just to get a little bit of knowledge as to what to expect because the getaway cabins are really really small they're miniature cabins so packing will have to be very light but we'll get more into the packing and things later right now we are at Fred's about to get some dinner and then after we get dinner we're gonna go shopping for camp supplies earlier this morning we went through everything in the refrigerator and everything in the freezer and kind of like packed up food and drinks that we could bring and now that we're going to the store we're just going to get the other things that you know we obviously didn't have at home that we also want to include on the trip I've never done camping like this so you know regardless to me being nervous I am really excited but you know like I said I've never done anything like this so I want to make sure that I am dressed you know accordingly I don't want to be out here looking crazy while I'm camping so after we leave Fred's we'll be going to the thrift store to see if there's anything that's on the list that we could possibly get from the thrift store and also to get some like comfy clothes and stuff and then after the thrift store we are going to Walmart to get the rest of the items on the list that we don't already have at home so I'm so excited to take you all on the journey I don't know how much battery this camera has and like I said we are at Fred's but I wanted to um, when we got here I wanted to stay in the car and um, introduce the vlog so if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video I will check in with y'all later Bye. hey y'all we just made it to Goodwill we don't have that much time so I will not be doing that much vlogging <laughs> so I found some waterproof patches for $3.39 I think I'm gonna get maybe two of these, one for me, one for D. I wonder if I should get one for dairy or I think just two would be okay. Goodwill did not have anything and they were closing in 30 minutes so it was hard to try to like take our time and look around because we were also trying to be respectful of the fact that everybody that work there was trying to get the hell out of there. So, we'll see y'all when we get to Walmart.
You ready to go, Derry? Hey, y'all. It is the next day. Um, I am currently doing some editing, but Derry just finished up the dishes, so we are about to head out and go and get some lunch and then finish our shopping for camping. Um, I forgot my list, the list that I was telling y'all about that I was making when I was watching the YouTube videos and making notes. I forgot that list yesterday. So I got most of the stuff off of memory. So while we're at breakfast, I want to go through that. Well, not breakfast, lunch is it's 121. But while we're eating, I want to go through that list and check off everything that we were able to get yesterday. So that way I'm not duplicating anything today. Um, but today is Sunday and we leave Tuesday. So I really want to make sure I get everything um, as far as things that we need from the store. I want to get everything today because tomorrow I'm going to be packing like my clothes and stuff like that. And then tomorrow we're going to be packing up the car to kind of see like, do we need to take the car? Do we need to take the pickup truck? Do we need to take both of the regular cars or you know like how how is this all gonna work i think the soul would do just fine um yeah i think the soul will be okay since it's especially because we're packing light especially because i'm packing light <laughs> because this isn't gonna be a glamorous trip so there will be no need for me to bring a steamer and like a, a suitcase just for shoes and stuff like that this is gonna be some this is this is gonna be interesting I really I don't know how it's gonna be but we'll see but yeah that's what we have on the agenda for today and then when we get home later I really want to do a haul with everything um, that we got from the store yesterday and today because after I record that haul we are packing everything away so I really want to get that done today so I'm not worried about it um, but yeah let's go because I am starving I wanted to go ahead and show y'all my outfit I don't really like what I got on but I'm not even trying to impress myself right now I just wanted to like you know like at least look decent to get out of the house um but yeah I'm not really feeling these shorts and I think that's why I don't like this outfit I think I think I might change these shorts okay so I went ahead and changed my shorts I like these a lot better I think with the white and the brown. I just I just think this looks a lot better. Um, the only thing I don't like about these shorts and you can kind of like tell already, like my thighs eat these shorts like every time, like every five seconds. Like I'm gonna start walking and moving and all of this, like my thighs are gonna swallow all of this. It's is crazy. I'm not going to keep these shoes on. I'm only wearing these shoes because my toes look a mess. <laughs> my toes look so bad. So while we're out, I do plan on going to the nail salon because I refuse to go on vacation with some messed up toes. And I am going to change my shoes. I'm going to bring them with me. I'm carrying my Michael Kors tote. Um, and I have my shoes in here. So when I leave the nail salon, I'm going to put these on. Um, but, ooh, child, my toes, my toes look a hot mess. I'm scared to show y'all my toes because they look crazy. But this is the outfit. I like it. My purse is extremely full, extremely heavy. This is the OOTD. And we will see y'all later. Bye. You wanna sat down? Can y'all see me? All right, so we just got to New Tampa. We're about to go get something to eat. We were gonna go to Grain and Berries, but Derry really wants um, to go to the Vietnamese restaurant. Come on, Derry. I think it's called Poke Island. Thank you. 
are back home. Um, I'm filming on my phone because my camera just died. And don't mind me looking at my watch. I'm trying to make sure I stay in focus while I'm recording on my phone because I can see y'all from, the, well, I can see myself from my watch. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and do a little grocery haul with all the stuff that we got for our camping trip. I am so excited. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the wine. I got some Oliver, Oliver Winery wine. It's the Blueberry Moscato. And then we also got some Andre Peach wine. I think we've had this before and it was really, really good, but we don't, we don't see it all the time. I'm gonna put everything over here. And before I forget, because it was already over there, we got this um, 10 quart cooler. And I think we're just gonna fill this cooler up with ice um, because at the um, in the cabin, there's a, a mini fridge. It's about the size of a, a decent sized fridge that you would get at a hotel. And it has a freezer part, but it's a really small freezer. So we're gonna fill this up with ice so we can have ice water while we're out there. I was trying to find some stove top popcorn, but I couldn't find any, but um, Dairy went ahead and picked out this white cheddar popcorn seasoning. Then we got two of these camp forks from Walmart. It looks like they provide the sticks for the campfire, but since I don't know how many they're plan planning on giving us, I wanted to go ahead and get these. And I just think these would be really, really nice because not only are we gonna be using these to make s'mores, but we're also gonna be using them um, to make hot dogs. And there's a little picture on the package of somebody um, grilling hot dogs over the fire. So I just thought this would be perfect. So we got two of these and then we'll have whatever they have at the campsite. And then we also got some salted caramel brownie, regular coffee creamer for D and Dairy. And then we got some Bud Light. And these are the mini cans of Bud Light. And then we got two cartons of juice. We got watermelon lemonade and tropical punch. But I don't know if we're gonna bring both of these. I don't think we need both. And for the s'mores, we got the honey graham crackers by Great Value. And then we got um, Hershey's, regular Hershey's milk chocolate bar. And this is the giant bar and it has 25 pieces. And then we got the same size bar, but in cookies and cream. And then we got the Campfire Giant Roasting Marshmallow Bag. So that's everything for s'mores. This is Folgers Coffee. It's the single roast. It comes in a little tea bag. So you can just boil some hot water, stick this in the bag. I mean, so you can just boil some hot water and then stick one of these bags in your mug and then let it steep and you'll have a cup of coffee. This was $9 for 38. I thought that was a really good deal for Folgers. I also got these shatterproof wine glasses by Better Homes and Gardens from Walmart. At first I was like, okay, you know, I know we're on vacation, but I want, you know, like my content and everything to be real cute. So I was gonna bring real wine glasses, but then I was like debating it like, oh gosh, like what if they don't travel well and they break before we get there? And then I was like, oh, I'll bring plastic wine glasses as backup, the ones that we have. So I looked at the ones that we have and they are really, really small um, and they don't have a stem on them. So I was like, no, I think I'm just gonna bring the real ones. But when I was in Walmart today and I seen these, I was like, this, this is perfect. It's so cute and I love it. I'm gonna, of course, like soak off these stickers, but I just, I just thought this was so perfect for what I was going for. And I got two of these. We got 12 mini water bottles, two gallons of drinking water. I got this for us to um, brush our teeth and wash our face with. Sliced Italian bread from Walmart, crackle glass hanging lantern. 
a small thing of eggs, mini chocolate croissants, M&M cookies from Walmart. We got three floats for when we go to the um, springs. We got this comfort mat float. And then we got this tube and it has like a little backrest on it. I thought it was so cute. And then we got another, another tube. So this one, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a backrest. And then we got, so y'all know we went thrifting yesterday. Literally the only thing we got. <laughs> so I got two of these and I think I got something else from the thrift store, but I don't remember. So I think I'm almost done. I know I got so much stuff. Okay, so we got some Sportsman's Off. And I got this one because it said, specifically because it said Deep Woods, which is exactly where we're gonna be. Zevo, Insect Killer, Ant, Roach, and Fly. This is pet friendly, so that's why I wanted to get this because we will be bringing Rocky with us. Flushable wipes, aviator swim goggles, outdoor candles. We got two of these. Yep, I think that's it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner and then start packing up everything else, like all this stuff. And tomorrow I'm gonna do the clothes and everything like that. And then tomorrow night before we go to bed, we're gonna pack everything in the car. So that way in the morning we can just leave. So I will check in with y'all tomorrow. I hope y'all have a great night. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss anything. And please make sure you like this video and leave a comment and let me know what you think. So, so far from what I've gotten, like, do y'all think I'm overdoing it? I kind of think I'm overdoing it, but I, I kind of feel like I'm planning very well. But I feel like because I feel like I'm planning very well, I feel like I'm overdoing it. But let me know what y'all think. But again, I hope y'all have a great night and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Yeah, bent over right in front of the And stretch? Yeah. I hate when he does that. Now I gotta crop him out. Stop it. 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 Hey y'all. So it is the next day and it is 3.30, I believe. Yes, it's 3.32. I am officially on vacation. Last night after I showed you guys everything that we got from the grocery, I started to pack up that stuff. Um, mostly the dry ingredients, anything that has to stay in the freezer and anything that has to stay in the refrigerator, obviously we have to pack that right before we leave in the morning. Y'all saw the cooler that we got, but we also, and I don't even know where we got it from, but we have this cooler slash suitcase situation. It's like a giant lunchbox on wheels. I seen it in the office closet last night when I went to go get the suitcase and I was like, oh my gosh, like this would be perfect for the freezer and refrigerator food. It's insulated and it has pockets. So I'm like, I don't know how this got here or who you belong to, but you're coming with me. I was hoping I wouldn't have to leave today, but I forgot my shoes at the nail salon. We've never had stovetop popcorn. 
so I really wanted to get that because the place that we're going to they don't have a microwave and Dairy and Dee love popcorn and y'all saw the popcorn um, seasoning that Dairy got I looked up the popcorn online it's called Jiffy popcorn and it's like the only stovetop popcorn brand out there let me hurry up because I don't know what's going on with the camera I want to go to the store and grab the popcorn I need to go get my shoes because we're gonna be gone until Thursday and and I don't want to do anything Thursday but laundry um, so yeah let me go get my shoes go grab that popcorn and then we'll come home and start packing I'm about to head out, but before I go, I want to just show y'all my OOTD. So this is what I was working in today. This sweatshirt is like really oversized. I got it from um, Charlotte Roos and it says Nashville on it. Um, and then I got these um, navy blue sweatpants on. And then I'm wearing these um, shoes that I got from, I think, Ross this weekend or Dee Dee's Discount. I don't know. They're by Lucky Brand, um, but I'm wearing them today. I just got them. I haven't worn them out yet, but I'm wearing them today to see how I feel about them because I tried on a lot of shoes that were this style and that looked like this. My toes look so crazy, um, <laughs> but I tried on a lot of shoes that look like this and they a lot of them were hurting my feet um because i'm really flat footed and my feet are really chunky so a lot of them were like hurting my feet so i don't know how i feel about them but that's why i wanted to wear them today and kind of test them out and then i'm just carrying the same michael kors tote that i had yesterday with all of my stuff in it but there's nothing in here now but i don't feel like changing bags because i got a lot of packing to do so i'll have enough of that to do later so it's a lot later last time i talked to y'all we why do i feel like y'all are so low we were able to get the stovetop popcorn so cheers to that and we went to the nail salon and my shoes were still there so we're all good so i've already started um pulling out things that i wanted to take and i already have um something that i'm i plan on putting on in the morning i got this like two-piece set it's it's a sweatshirt and some gray leggings so this is really comfortable i don't know when i plan on wearing this i just wanted to have an extra comfy kind of lounge around outfit so that's why i'm bringing this i'm bringing some navy blue biker shorts and some navy blue um like workout leggings and then I'm bringing this half zip shirt just in case it's a little cool. Since we plan on being outside and we're going to be out in the woods, I don't plan on being super cute. So I just wanted to bring some comfy active clothes. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to wear the leggings or the biker shorts. So I'm like, I'm just going to bring both purple leggings. They're really, really long. The other navy blue leggings, they're just... Um, capris i really want to go on morning hikes but it's gonna be raining this week while we're up there so that's why i'm bringing like long sleeves because the mosquitoes are gonna be so i just want to make sure i'm like nice and covered if we're outside so um i also have like it's an it's like a shade of purple but it's a little lighter you guys can kind of see the difference but for some reason, I always wear this together and it's just a long sleeve shirt. And then I'm bringing this. I don't know when I'll wear it. I'll probably wear it home. It's just a onesie that I got from, is this, okay, this is backwards. So it's just a onesie I got from Charlotte Russe. Can y'all see it? I got it in this green like sage color and then I got it in black so the black one will be my travel outfit for tomorrow and then this green one will probably be what I wear home because it has support inside so you don't necessarily have to wear a bra so that's why I wanted to wear these while we were traveling because I felt like it would be really comfortable to be not have to worry about a bra 
when you're in the car for such a long time. And I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff in the suitcase. Um, as far as shoes, so like I said, it's going to be wet. It's going to be raining. So I am bringing out the most raggedy shoes that I have, which would be my Skechers and my Sperry's. So these are the shoes that I'm bringing. My Skechers, they they are so old. I've, I've had these Skechers for a long time and they're still really comfortable. Like Skechers, Skechers is where it's at. <laughs> for, for comfort? Oh, you can never go wrong. These are my go-to shoes for when it is like wet and rainy out. I always wear these because of the neutral tones. They pretty much go with everything. So an update on the flip-flops the lucky brand flip-flops that I showed you guys that I got yesterday they were hurting my feet just a little bit not to the point where I felt like okay I'm taking these shoes off and I'm taking them back I just think that I need to just break these shoes in a little bit more because they do have a bit of like an arch right here in like this area there's a bit of an arch and I told y'all earlier that I'm flat-footed so it was just like a different type of like form of fitting for me but i'm pretty sure i'll get used to it i don't know and i feel like they go really well with what i'm wearing tomorrow so this is the outfit that i'm wearing tomorrow i'm wearing that black onesie that i showed you you guys so this will be like my little first travel outfit and then i'm wearing this sweater over it this sweater I got from Walmart, it was a two-piece. It came with a, a skirt that looks just like this. It just doesn't have any buttons, but it does have a slit. I'm going to be wearing this over the um, over this onesie. And I'm wearing the flip-flops because I feel like they really match the sweater. I feel like the buttons really go with the sweater. I don't know. I'm feeling it. So this will be what I wear there. Hold on. Let me put this stuff... Uh, but other than those flip-flops, the only pair of shoes that I'm going to bring are my little bedroom shoes. Um, I don't even think I've worn these yet, but I saw that I had some black ones and I was like, okay, that will come in handy. So let me go ahead and get off the camera since the camera seems to be overheating or something. I don't know. It's always something. And I will see y'all in the morning because I need to get some rest and be well prepared for our drive to our cabin oh i'm so excited okay <laughs> There's a little spot over there for Rocky because the trunk is like packed just enough for us to see out of the window. So I really quickly wanted to show y'all my OOTD for today and it's kind of dark in here so I'm going to try to turn where you guys can see it but I have on the black onesie that I showed y'all yesterday. I have on the flip-flops. I really like how everything turned out. And this right here is the only purse that I'm bringing. I have all of my stuff in here, but I feel like this bag is very neutral and it kind of goes with everything. I went with like simple dainty jewelry and I did slick my edges down and I put on a cute little headband, but there's no product or anything in my hair. Um, I didn't even get to like tell y'all about my hair situation but yeah I'm not bringing any products for my hair because I'm taking this hair out after this trip so I'm like 
I'm done with this hair. But when, when we get on the road, I'll show you guys the book I decided to take with me. I read a little bit of it last night and I think it's gonna be perfect for this trip. It just seems like it's gonna be such a fun read. I think it's gonna be perfect for this trip. But like I said, I'll show you that after we get on the road because right now we're about to head out, go to breakfast, gas up, and then hit the road. So I'll check in with y'all later. Bye. just made it to the cabin i am so excited it is so cute so i want to give y'all a bit of a room tour before we start unpacking the car so i'm standing by the front door the first thing that you see is this small little table and we have two chairs which is really nice because most of the videos that i saw they only had one chair and i just closed the bathroom door but here's the entrance there's the ac unit and all the kitchen utensils. And this is the little kitchenette, the refrigerator. And then there's a lot of cabinet space. There's like a little tuck away here and a tuck away there. And then I think this is empty. Yep, we'll be able to actually bring in our stuff and put it away. And then here's where the paper towels are and the trash bags and the trash can. And one thing I am really excited about is the floors, you guys. It's like this fake, like, carpet. I don't know. It's not tile but or wood. It's like, I don't know what this material is, but I love it. So this is the bottom bed. This is where we will be sleeping. I love how big this bed is. I haven't sat on it, but it is very soft. It feels like you will melt into this bed. And then one thing I noticed about the bed is like, there's this area over here. Most likely that'll be where we sit Rocky, but isn't that perfect? Oh my gosh, I love it. And then here's our second window where we can see our outside area. And I'll show y'all a little bit of that when I go outside. Up this ladder, I'm gonna try to step up here while I hold the camera, ooh. So up here is where the second bed is. And this is where Dairy will be. This is probably where Rocky will be too because there's a lot of space up here. At the head of the bed are lights, reading lights, which is perfect. And I love how spacious it is. Oh, that is perfect. All right, and I'll show you guys the bathroom. 
the bathroom is small but it looks very spacious when you're inside the bathroom i'll show you guys no 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 get out rocky jesus christ so here's the towel hook that they have trash can back there emergency kit and then there's a small window in the bathroom which is so cute and then here's the shower and this is how the shower looks with it's open and we got here right after the cleaners left we got here at about 2 45 well we got here at like 2 40 and they were still here cleaning they said you know like it'll be about five to ten more minutes so that was really nice What is he doing, Rocky? So it's a lot later. We put our stuff up and we just been chilling in the cabin for a couple hours. Right now we are at Fast Pro Shop because Dee forgot to bring shoes. The only shoes she brought are the flip flops that she wore here. So we're um, going in here to see if we can try to find her some rocks. Thank you. I've never been in one of these stores. Oh, no. I can't even get too close because he looks so real. Oh my god. Is this a real bear? Stop it. Uh -uh. Do you all see this? Oh my gosh, I've never been in one of these stores. Is that a freaking waterfall? Look at that. I'm screaming. We gotta get closer to this waterfall. Is that a fish tank? Oh, this, oh my gosh, this is a freaking fish tank. Oh my god. This is hard as hell. Yeah. And when you're this close, you can kind of feel the water. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, those yeah. are sleeping bags. Ooh, team, I'm Team Yeti, y'all. I have the same cup in white with my company's logo on it, so y'all probably will never see it, but yes, I like my little Yeti.
So...
<laughs> hey y'all. So we're currently out um, at Poe Springs. Poe Springs Park is what I think it's called. But we're currently out here on a nature walk. Um, we had a, oh, a caterpillar. <laughs> you have to tell me. Jesus. So we're, I have to get off the camera because I have to watch where I'm going because they are not looking out for me. Oof. We had a bit of a slow morning because it is wet and raining and there's a couple thunderstorms right now. You can actually still hear thunder out in the distance, but we tried to wait it out and it didn't seem like it was gonna stop and the um, weather forecast says that it's gonna be like wet and rainy all day. So we didn't want that to ruin our trip. So we still came out in the rain for our nature walk and that's why I have my bonnet on. It's not raining right now. It's just really windy and wet. When we get back to the room, we are gonna get ready to go over to the springs um, for a little bit and then head back to the camp cabin head back to the sorry i gotta watch where i'm going head back to the cabin so we can um roast marshmallows we weren't able to roast marshmallows last night because it was just way too dark and we were all kind of like freaked out to go outside even though we have flashlights and everything oh wow that looks so cool oh my gosh i have to show you guys this river over here there's like a stadium surrounding the river so you can walk down to the water. I think this is actually the Springs area. I'm not 100% sure. Oh wow, this is so cool. Hold on, let me show y'all. That is so cool. Oh wow. I wonder if this is the spring area. It doesn't say, and it's really wet and rainy so nobody's out here but I honestly think this is the spring area. You can see Deary and Dee already over there. I'm vlogging on my phone because the phone is waterproof and the camera is not so it just makes sense to bring this out in this type of weather and not risk the camera getting wet but there's a lot of like hanging caterpillars and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get off the camera I'll check in with y'all later marshmallows cooking chicken roasting hot dogs it's such a vibe and I'm getting ready to go out there I just wanted to check in with y'all this is our last day here and we've just been out all day y'all know we kind of like slept in and enjoyed our morning had a really slow morning and then we were getting kind of antsy like as the rain started to like slow down we were like okay you know like let's try to go out and get out so we went hiking and then after we went hiking we came back y'all will not believe what happened when we came back with this one so i'm gonna tell y'all real quick and then i'm gonna go outside but we left um the little window that y'all are sitting in front of you need anything that bag with the snacks and the other ziploc bag there's mustard packets and stuff 
So the small window that's at the end of the bed, I have y'all sitting in front of it right now. We left this window open when we left and we left Rocky here, but we left the window open because that helps with his anxiety. Left on his little like dog music, you know, okay, we're, we're set. We were only gone for 45 minutes. So we pull up to the cabin when we're coming back and we see these two men standing at our cabin and I'm like, what are they doing? We're like, you know, like, hey, like, how can we help you? And then around the corner on the steps. Yeah, that's how I felt when I seen your ass on the steps. I was like, what the f Like, how did you get from in here to out there? That man said that Rocky jumped out of the window because the screen is broken. He jumped out of the window. They thought we were still here or we were nearby because they heard the music. They thought it was our phones. It's not our phones. So they're calling, they're calling. The park that we were at doesn't have any service. So we're not getting any of their calls. And he's just out here running amok being so freaking ghetto they said that he went to the i guess like the cabin over there and was barking at people and then he went to the cabin like behind us because um like a couple cabins down somebody had a dog he like beelined for the people's dog and was like harassing the dog and then they said that we weren't answering so they were getting ready to call animal control. Cause when we were pulling up, sorry, Derry looked like he like burnt himself. Be careful, be careful. Nobody, nobody's using napkins. I'm, let me hurry up so I can go outside. Cause everybody just, But anyways, so when we were pulling up, that man was on the phone with animal control because we weren't answering the phones. Turns out we're not supposed to leave the dog here. They cannot be left here unsupervised under any circumstances. So shame on us for like, you know, like not reading like, you know, the instructions or the manual thoroughly and catching on to that because we would have just took him with us. Yeah, that was crazy like that was crazy i cannot believe this dog jumped out of this window onto the picnic table and started just going ham on everybody so we're like okay we're st we're not gonna let this ruin our day we're still gonna go to the springs so we wanted to go to jenny springs and we know that there's no dogs allowed but we were gonna just keep rocky in the car so we pull up to Jenny Springs. The guy's like, you know, hey, how many people? I'm like, three people. He's like, okay, he's filling out our ticket. He's getting ready to hand me the ticket. Tell me why this boy starts barking at the man. He's like, oh, can't have dogs out here. And we're like, oh, he should, he, he's just gonna sit in the car. We, we're only gonna be here for like 30 minutes. He said, the dogs aren't even allowed on the property. And I'm just like, this dog is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Where? Right here. You touched the pole? Yeah. I seen you. You have to be careful. Yes, okay. Yes, Do you want to get one of those water bottles and hold it? Okay. And when we leave, um, we'll get you some ice if it's still bothering you. No, Do it you should think be done about like the end of today. It's not that bad. No, Are you sure? Bad. Yeah. Do you want to take some pain hold pills? Um, hold on, y'all. I seen you grab that metal part. Yeah. You don't. Do you think you need burn ointment, or you think you don't need all of that? Mm -hmm. I honestly think the ibuprofen will help with the pain. I'll get you some water, or you got it. You yeah. take two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when I stop thinking about it, I'll be good. Yeah, that's, this is going to help you stop thinking about it. Yeah, you have to swallow. 
Ew, what's in your shirt? Oh, marshmallow. <laughs> you Dang. can't, you're gonna take that off before you go. Alright, let me finish telling you what happened today and then I'll be out here. I hope y'all can see me. So we um, left Jenny Springs and we went to. Stop, Barry. Don't look at me. Okay. So we left Jenny Springs and we went to um, Blue River Springs, I think it's called, or Blue Ridge Springs. Um, it's one of the springs that I saw um, someone go to in one of the videos that I watched before we came and I actually took notes down. So before we even got there, I already knew, okay, this spring, they, you know, allow dogs to be here. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than Jenny Springs. Um, it's the, the one I was telling you about. It's like $6 per car where Jenny Springs, it was actually $20 per person. And we weren't going to be there long. Like even at, when we went to, um, Derry, open the door. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot. It's okay. I don't know why. I wonder if y'all can see me better now since I turned the light on a little bit better. But yeah, so we went to Blue River Springs and we had a lot of fun. Like I said, we were only there for about 45 minutes um, and the dog chilled in the car because, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing at them. Stop, they're laughing at me. vegetarian corn dogs because I cannot stand how the vegetarian hot dogs taste and we put it on the um the grill <laughs> y'all need to stop swinging those chicken bones around but, <laughs> chicken bone bite, yeah. but it, it tastes really good like this I've never had a corn dog on a grill and it tastes so good I'm happy how it's good.
y'all. So it is almost 10 o'clock and we are just in the middle of packing up and getting ready to head out. Today is Thursday the 28th. I just wanted to say goodbye to you guys and then we have a couple more things that we need to load up into the car and then we'll officially be hitting the road. But overall this was a really really great experience i would give it a 10 out of 10. i really really enjoyed myself and despite the situation that happened with rocky we had a great time and it was a lot of fun and i really do feel like in some point in your life you really should experience some form of camping i really do feel like this was like more on the glamping side but you are out in the middle of the woods and you are responsible for everything. I really do feel like, you know, like you should try to get the experience yourself because it was it was a lot of fun and it's a learning experience as well. I feel like you learn more about yourself when you're here, what you're capable of, what you're not capable of, what you're willing to tolerate and things like that. But overall, like I said, 10 out of 10 experience and you should definitely try this. What was very different for me is feeling like I'm in a hotel, but at the same time, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. They have people on site 24 seven. So that is very comforting because you are out in the middle of the woods but it's nice to have that in the back of your head they have an emergency phone um in the cabins and one by the entrance so you know god forbid something was to happen the emergency phone is there um we were able to text the staff anything that we needed and they came right away and you know provided us with anything that we needed so that was really nice but overall like i said 10 out of 10 experience but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i hope you guys like comment and subscribe and especially comment comments really help my reach and let me know what you guys are interested in what you're not interested in what you guys are really picking up on to really really help out the channel so please consider leaving a comment before you leave the channel and make sure you share the video with friends or family so we can really grow our platform into something beautiful. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Baby